Hey guys, Hackexploit here, back again with another video. Welcome back to the Penetration Testing Bootcamp. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can detect firewalls with Nmap or how to perform firewall detection with Nmap. Uh, now, in the previous video, we talked about you using uh, inverse TCP flag scanning, which again can give you an idea as to whether or not a port is open or closed based on a response. And again, the whole uh, the, the whole Nmap series uh, so far has has pretty much been based on that and how Nmap uh, sort of comes to conclusions based on responses. And again, for the for this video, it's pretty much the same. Now, uh, when talking about detecting whether a firewall exists, again, we're talking about sending a request and then analyzing the response if we get any. Now, the, res the requests can either be in the form of, you know, the standard TCP flags uh, like uh, SYN, uh, ACK, and RST. And then, of course, we talked about the inverse TCP flags. In this case, we're talking about using a technique called ACK probing, right, which involves essentially sending a an ACK probe or a request uh, with the ACK um, TCP flag and... Um, if we do not get a response from the target, it typically means that there is a firewall uh, that is blocking connections, right? Or there's a firewall in place. Uh, and of course, this it's really difficult to, to actually come to a conclusion as to what type of firewall you have. All you know is that the traffic is being filtered somehow. Uh, if you do get a um, an RST flag or a response with the RST flag, it means that the port is, uh, the, it means that the, there is no firewall present. Uh, and as a result, the traffic is unfiltered. And I'll show you this in a second. So uh, the scan is very simple to orchestrate. Now for the purpose of this video, uh, I've set up a, I've started up or booted up my Windows Server box. And that's because uh, this works on any operating system, regardless of the uh, regardless of the kernel. In the previous video, and talking about TCP inverse uh, flag scanning, you 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 saw that it really does not work on Windows, but in this case, it works on both Linux and Windows. And in in, in this case, we're going to be talking about a stateful fi uh, firewall like Windows firewall, right? So uh, I'm just going to check my Windows uh, 2008 box here, and the firewall is currently disabled, right? Which means if I try and uh, perform a probe, uh, an ACK probe um, through Nmap, I should get an RST response or uh, yes, an RST response. Um, and that actually will tell me that there is no firewall in place. So what we'll do is we'll just say Nmap and we type in SA. That means we're sending a uh, an ACK probe. We type in the address of the box. Um, and in this case, it is 192.168.1.38. And then, of course, I can specify the reason here for my own uh, for my own knowledge, or just to understand what's happened exactly, which is quite important. And then we'll also analyze this with Nmap, right? So we'll um, we'll just hit start here, continue, and uh, we'll just hit enter. All right, and we'll wait for the results. That uh, will probably take a few seconds, but we'll just give it its time. All right, so we get the response. Um, we can see that uh, it tells us that all 1000 of the most common ports were scanned and are unfiltered because of 1000 resets. Let us stop the traffic now. So you can see we get we have like a lot of requests and responses uh, and we can go all the way to the top here. And uh, let's just take an, an early example. So we're sending all the acts, right? The act probes you can see. And then we get the responses. Uh, we get a few responses here. Uh, and you can see then these are all uh, resets. And uh, this tells Nmap that there is no firewall in place. All right. So that's very, very simple to understand. And of course, we can do this on a port by port basis in the event there is a proxy or a filtering mechanism in place. So again, if I say port 22, hit enter, it tells us, hey, uh, the connection, we got a reset response or a packet with uh, a, a response packet with the TCP flag uh, of RST or reset. And that tells us that it's unfiltered, right? That port is unfiltered and there isn't a uh, stateful firewall in place that's actually filtering the traffic. All right, so that's pretty cool. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enable Windows firewall. So let me just enable that and you'll see the difference in a second. So I'll hit OK, and there we are. 
So I've now enabled the firewall and uh, why don't we just uh, get rid of the port option just to show you that now the ports will be filtered and again I will start a new Wireshark capture and I'll hit enter and again this will take a bit of time because it's essentially going through all the 1000 ports so we'll let that run. All right. So you can see we get the, the results and it tells us all 1000 scan ports on the IP are filtered. Remember, now you can see that the results are filtered, which means there is a stateful firewall in place. And that is because of 1000 no responses. So we did not get any response, which tells us there is a filter. I mean, there is a firewall in place, right? So you can see we sent a ton of, of uh, ACK probes, but we got no response whatsoever. So that tells us indeed there is a firewall. So that's pretty cool. Um, again, you can run this on a port by port basis if you want. And the reason flag really gives it a lot of context. And uh, this also works on Linux. So if you have Linux configured with uh, firewalls and various firewall rules using UFW, you can test this out. It, it has the same result uh, and uh, it's very reliable because you're you're using the uh, the common TCP through your handshake uh, flags like the ACK. We're using ACK in this case, and um, you know, it's, it's very reliable that way. So you're able to come to a conclusion as to whether or not there is a firewall. And I thought this, uh, this video was appropriate before we actually start talking about evading firewalls or evasion techniques, uh, and you know, to first, uh, to, to first understand uh, whether or not there is a firewall. Uh, and of course, you can also do this on a port by port basis. So uh, that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section or at the Hackersploit forum at forum.hackersploit.org and I'll be seeing you in the next video.